Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back of his teardown lab. Yeah, it's again, it, it could almost be a non teardown lab item because this is basically an unboxing of a crap Christmas present. But seeing as it's a gadget and we can pull it apart, we'll we'll tear it down. We'll call it a teardown. And uh, you can see I've already had a play with it here. Um, I've already lost some of the bits too. And I wanted to show you why these things are so sort of crap. Um, so this is a Red 5, 5-in-1 five solar kit. Construction kit to build six solar-powered models and all the bits you need, you know. A solar windmill, solar revolving plane, solar airboat, solar plane, solar car, solar puppy, blah, 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 blah. A whole load of stuff. Fat instruction manual, really. Uh, that's quite good. It does show you what to do. I can tell you now that all of the money spent on this kit has actually been spent in the manual itself. Um, the parts are just terrible. And the problem with these is I feel that kids are getting conned. And they're getting conned, especially at the time of year. And you don't want them to be conned, which is like their birthday or Christmas or something like that. So you've got enough bits and pieces, allegedly, to make a car or a spinning whirly gig. This was the last thing I'd made with this, which was the spinning whirly gig, and I'll just show you. And you even have to get your own coin to sort of counterbalance that. Wow, look at it go. Now you'll have to imagine there's enough sun to make this go, and there really isn't enough sun in the UK to even drive this thing. I had to have it about a millimetre away from a sort of halogen spotlight to sort of get this to do anything. Just to sort of give you an example, I've got my phone here, and I know a phone torch isn't going to be a much juice, but I mean, that's kind of what people will be trying to use. You can see that the motor here isn't even sort of trying to sort of turn. You're going to need some serious photons, you know, it's, um, you're going <clears> to <throat> need your sort of kilowatt halogen flying on this just to sort of get this scope. It does go, and you go, yay, that's great, it's amazing. All the parts come in a sort of model kit type format, you know, these sort of sprue or whatever you call it, that like you've got to snap off, you know, like these bits and bobs. And you, if you're really that keen, you'll get your craft knife and you'll whittle it down. But the plastic is of really low quality. If you've ever done um, Airfix kits, this is absolutely nothing like them. So that's kind of a bit of a shame because I went online and I look at some of these kits and they're like, some of them are like 40 quid, 30 quid, and you know when you're gonna get them, it's just gonna be this sort of khaki plastic, um, and just a few bits and bobs. And I was really disappointed with the, the sort of like a build your own fuel cell powered clock kit, and you know, it's just awful. It's, it's sort of literally about a quid's worth of parts sort of wrapped up in a box, which makes it look really amazing, and then, um, then clearly it's just really crap inside. And it's, 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 it's a shame really, because not only does it sort of fool the grandparents, so they're trying to buy like their kids, you know, grandparents and parents, um, I'm thinking more grandparents, I'll tell you why in a sec, um, buy their sort of grandkids some nice toys. And they see this box in, in among the toys, you know, um, but, uh, you know, it's kind of the same price, but they think, yeah, they, we're going to spend a bit of money on old young Johnny. Um, he, uh, he's he been a good boy this year, and it's like, wow, this whole thing, it's like a build-your-own-fuel-cell potato car that looks just absolutely amazing. The packaging's more impressive than the sort of Transformers boxes. Um, but yeah, when they get it, they're just going to be crazy disappointed. Even if they open the box, though, they'll be, like, amazed with it, and then when they get it out, and then they'll get bored so quickly because there's not really much you can do with these. So apart from sort of build the different models, and I'll just sort of show you on the uh, box here. It's just variations of a theme, really. So there's your aeroplane whirly gig thing, your sort of windmill, which is kind of in reverse because that would be a really crap windmill because it doesn't generate power. It needs power to spin. You've got a sort of airboat thing that doesn't work, another sort of format of airboat. In fact, I'm not even sure what that is. It's meant, it looks like an aeroplane, like a static aeroplane model, perhaps. I mean, look at that. It's hard to decipher. An airboat kit, a sort of rocking dog, which is it uses the rudder from the airplane as the tail, and it just sort of goes meh, meh. Meh. That's about as, as much as I can describe it. And then a car, which looks kind of funky, but doesn't really drive because, again, we don't have enough sun in the UK to be able to power the gearbox to go through. So I guess if you're in a real um, hot country with loads of sun, 
you're going to get some joy out of this. But look at that, it's actually quite neat. Look at that, the whole thing really is in English and it's like a full, full old book here. Ah, uh, look, it's time to have some fun. Sunny, full energy, in-house, 50 watts and up, try on me. Cloudy, low power, sad, 50 watts. So that's what it's saying, basically, you need 50 watts of energy to run this, which is quite high, really, isn't it, for a little crappy toy? So there you have it. Please be wary if you're in the shops looking at these kits. And, you know, sometimes they're labelled under these sorts of gadget shop type kits. So this is the sort of Red 5, the ultimate gadget shop. Um, sometimes there's Science Museum. I, I, I kind of think Science Museum is a bit of a real um, cheeky one. They, they definitely put out a lot of stuff like this. Um, I don't think the kids are going to learn anything from it that they don't already know, basically. Um, it's not going to be creating new scientists. If you're going to get your kids an educational thing, just get them a book. I think that's uh, something they'll probably hate to receive, but then maybe uh, if it's been sitting on the shelf long enough, they'll pick it up eventually and start enjoying it. So have you any experience with these kits? Am I totally talking out of my arse and you disagree with me? Uh, totally. I'm, I'm happy if you do. Please drop me a line down below in the comments or tweet me. Urgh. Look, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm enjoying this part of actually cleaning this kit up. But, uh, you know, I'm not a um, eight-year-old kid, am I? Um, yeah, so please leave a comment down below. I'm going to put this back in its box, though, you know, and I'm going to keep all the bits together because I think someone may enjoy this at some point in the future. If you... Uh, feel that you're so deserving of this just let me know and we'll uh, you know work something out send me some PMP and I'll ship it to you this box of plastic before I send it to landfill as ever thanks for watching